In many ways, I felt a bit lost 10 years ago. Through that lens, through looking through that lens, the process of that, I found every click, every you know outing, every trip has helped me and has brought a sense of healing into my, into me, who I am as, as a person. And it began to draw out of me all that horrible kind of stress and stuff. I guess it feels so great when someone appreciates your work. Okay, so it occurs to me that in my last video, I mentioned um, mental health and the effect that photography can have on, on your mind, your mental health. And when I was talking about the book, my um, book that was published last year, um, I mentioned the process that I went through to um, uh, produce, release, photograph that book. And in the comments, somebody mentioned how glad they were that I mentioned um, mental health and photography because obviously you know it's something that really does play a part and is really important and it's probably not something that's talked about very much and so I'm just I'm approaching at the moment my 10 years um, of being a professional full-time photographer and it occurs to me that I've never really talked about my journey and the journey that I've come on. I've done a couple of interviews with podcasts and things where I've talked to a little bit about it, but I've never really um, sat like this and just talked about the journey that I've been on um, because I came from a very different place to where I am now um, over the last 10 years. And so this may be helpful to some people who, if you're on a similar journey to what I was on, I just thought maybe this would be something that is at least worth saying um, in the hope that for somebody it's you know it's um important and maybe useful but if i roll back kind of 10 years ago um i was in a very different job um my wife and i we were living in a very different area and some really difficult circumstances happened um around our lives not between us but around our lives and we because of that it was pretty devastating for us our lives were turned upside down completely and we ended up having to um we ended up choosing to to move away um we we, we changed our jobs we really just started uh, a new life and in that process at that time i wasn't working as a photographer i loved taking pictures i took pictures of um we had a baby, couple of young babies at that time so i loved taking pictures of that and it was kind of the kind of thing that was just part of um normal family life I remember back when I was probably um, under 10, maybe nine, eight or nine, I remember um, being really interested every family holiday in my nan's analog camera uh, and my dad's as well. And in the end, my dad bought me my first, it was a Practica. Um, some of you might remember those cameras. And he taught me how to kind of meter light, how to use the flash. And so there was an, well, I was about 12 at that point, And there was a real kind of, uh, affection for photography and I would put my um, eye to the lens and I just would love that world that I was seeing before me and it was like this kind of door that was like opening up I'm sure many of you have experienced that when you were young and so I found myself kind of falling in love with photography but never really considering that as my as my job but fast forward to um, in life and we were on holiday and I was, we were in Cornwall and we were staying right by the beach for this amazing week's holiday. And every night I would take this little kind of compact camera. Maybe that's why I love compact small cameras now. I would take this little compact camera and I would go down to the beach and just kind of immerse myself in the golden evening, golden hour of light. I didn't even know it was called golden hour in those days. I would just be in it. I couldn't believe the colors. I couldn't believe the the gold and the um like a liquid color that was on the on the sand and it, the Cornish sunsets are just spectacularly beautiful. And I found myself connecting to nature 
in such a way that it really impacted me and I was kind of photographing it and it was a bit of a uh, kind of a giving and receiving thing. I found myself like wanting to be there and it was doing so much for me and I was getting these pictures and anyway, I came home from the holiday and I was sitting in a, um, a cafe and I was thinking, you know, what am I going to do with my life if I'm going to, if we're going to move or change jobs and everything else, what am I going to do? And the waitress who was just coming to give me my coffee, she saw on my iPad um, some photos which I was flicking through. I was just remembering that holiday. And she said to me, um, cool, those pictures are lovely. You should sell those. And I thought, huh? It was like, really? Um, okay. And it was a bit of a real left field thing for me. I never had considered it. And then that's exactly what I did. I just printed them up. I started going to um, craft fairs. I got frames for them. I started to sell them. I just literally, from nothing, I knew so little about photography, I have to say. I was just beginning and I just got this release of life to capture the world. I just started to think, yes, I can do this. And so um, I just started to take more photos, more photos, buy better cameras and just use what I had, take photos. I started doing a few weddings and just started to just put myself out there and think, you know what? I'm gonna give it a go. At that point, I was on Facebook, and so I started doing some Facebook advertising, um, which was really good um, at that time for weddings, and I started getting more and more weddings, and that gave me confidence to just keep taking photographs. It gave me the confidence to just keep shooting. And then I got an opportunity to go and do a photo shoot for a magazine. Um, a, a photographer had pulled out, somebody had got my name, and. Um, it was to go and photograph um, some food um, and uh, a, a kind of a celebrity chef type person. I was a bit freaked out by the whole thing. Um, so my brother-in-law came with me and we basically turned up and we did the shoot. Um, and thankfully they loved the images. And out of that, I, doors began to open up to me to do photo shoots all over the place for um, food photography. I started shooting for Michelin star chefs, I started shooting for magazines, I started shooting for all kinds of people um, and restaurants and, and just the next few years for me were just manic in capturing the, um, the kind of food industry. Um, it was quite exciting and I literally would, I was learning as I was going along. So I would find out like I got a shoot booking for next week and I didn't even know what kind of lens I needed or what kind of, you know, how I was going to shoot it. So I would buy the lens, I'd buy some flash, I would learn it, I would go and do it. That would teach me a bit more. And it was like just being chucked in at the deep end. And I was just full of energy, full of life, just threw myself into it. Um, and it just around me became um, a business. I mean, you know, many people plan their photography businesses or they sit and think, you know, when should I leave my job and do it? I just kind of was forced into this leap. And in that leap, all I'd say is photography kind of found me. Um, and I'm ever grateful to that, that waitress who, who said that to me about my images, because it just, it gave a bit of confidence to me. And sometimes you just need someone to give you a little bit of confidence and say, you know what, your work's great. Go and sell it or give it away or, you know, get it out to a wider world. So I, I was on this journey, I was doing these shoots, um, but still all of the stuff from the, all the kind of stuff that happened, the disappointments and things that came from before were, were living in me. And I know, I'm sure some of you have been in that place where life just, sometimes it just sucks and you're just having to try and get over that. And I found that landscape photography began to, it was like it released um, the pressure and it released the um, disappointments and it released from me the sense of um, any sadness or all the kind of things that weigh on you. I just found that when I would go into a landscape, particularly for me, it would be by the coast where it felt really remote, where the kind of wilder the weather, the better. I know, so I found myself traveling out to the Scottish islands. I found myself traveling out to the east coast, to Lindisfarne, or down to Lundy, or over to Bardsey Island. Um, I literally just found myself traveling to as many remote places as I could on short trips to immerse myself in that environment 
and to allow it to just soak over me. And it was kind of, I know that I was going to take photographs there, but the photographs just ended up being just part of what happened. You know, I was there to really allow it to um, draw out of me the any stress or um, any kind of heaviness. And it did such an incredible job. And in fact, what happened for me was that I went down to um, the place called the Dirtle Door, which is, um, if you're in this country, you probably know, but it's basically the south of England. It's not far from where I live now. And it's this kind of archway. I'll show you the picture in a minute. It's this archway um, out into the sea um, on the coast. And I went down there to early in the morning, like four o'clock in the morning, I get down there. It's a big climb down and very dark, very dangerous. So I had this light torch trying to find my way down to the, um, down to the beach, um, down the cliff, got down there to, and I wanted to capture the sunrise over that place and just to enjoy that. It's a beautiful place. Anyway, it turns out I happened to get there um, in the one, it's like two or three weeks a year, I think, where the, the sun rises directly through the door and you get this blast of sun and it only happens apparently at a certain time of year but just happened that I turned up at the right time because another photographer was just there by chance and told me and so I got this photo and then I couldn't believe it when I saw it I was amazed at the um what you know how it looked and uh, I sent it off to a, um, a press agency they thankfully liked it um, it, within a couple of days, it was in the Daily Telegraph, a big picture. And, I, and for me, that was like, wow, I can, maybe I can connect my, my kind of desire to be in these places and to actually maybe fund it and maybe start to make some money um, through that. So I started to send loads of my photos to the press and they started to get used quite regularly. And I found myself kind of having a bit of a stream of income through that side. So I have my food photography side and interiors and kind of, I was doing a lot of product photography. I was doing a lot of um, all kinds of commercial um, photography and then, and then in the end video as well. But alongside that, I had um, the landscape business and that was beginning to build and to grow. And so I started to um, put a lot of life into, um, into that. And it kind of happened that as I was traveling and taking all these photos of these places, I was finding that I, I kind of say it in the book up there. I, I say that it's like the um, the magic of the British landscape began to have its effect on me. And it did. It began to draw out of me all that horrible kind of stress and stuff from before. And I found myself just, it almost turned it into a little business for me. And so and so fast forward to today, and, and I'm now selling my landscape images, either in um, a gallery or in... Um, through to newspapers or through I sell it into the travel industry and this become a real viable part of my um, part of my business but I never set out for that and I think this is I'm now kind of 10 years on into this job and it doesn't feel like a job it feels like still something that really saved me from a place of you know feeling really um, down about life and not sure where I was going to go and in many ways I felt a bit lost 10 years ago and now today I feel so grateful because photography has has given me you know so much it's given me not only the um, appreciation and of nature and that sense of, of finding life in that place but also it's given me a, a living <laughs> which is very grateful for but it's given me a real sense of purpose because actually I I love when people enjoy my work. And I think the takeaway, if you've got to the end of this video, then <laughs> the takeaway for perhaps for you could be that, and it is for me, is that there's something so beautiful. And so um, I guess it feels so great when someone appreciates your work, whether that's a client, you know, from photographing an interior or through to a landscape that you've put a bit of heart and soul into. There's something so good about the appreciation and it doesn't matter if they've bought it or if you've given it to them. There is something about it which if it touches someone and perhaps they get a bit of life from seeing that image, um, how you've interpreted maybe a, a landscape, then that's amazing that you've actually managed to bring some joy to someone's life. And actually the journey that you've been on, perhaps in that photo, there is something expressed about that journey. 
And maybe that's why photography and photos mean so much, because they are, you're producing something which is coming out of a, a, a felt journey. And you are saying, look, this is the product of that journey that I've been on. So I feel really, really grateful um, as I look over these last 10 years and I think about what's to come in the future. Uh, I feel very grateful for what, you know, how it's come. In many ways, I feel like my, my career is just beginning and I'm just going to get it going. Uh, I feel full of energy for it. I feel full of life for it and just looking forward to what's coming. But if you're in a place where you are perhaps struggling with your mental health, then I guess my message would be to perhaps, you know, get out with your camera and through that lens, through looking through that lens, the process of that, I found every click, every, you know, outing, every trip has helped me and has brought a sense of healing into my, into me, who I am as, as a person. And I think if you just admit that, that you need that help and then go and take photographs, it does a lot of good. It's done me a lot of good. And uh, yeah, you know, do feel free to, to, to mention it in the comments if, if you've been in a similar position. But yeah, I just want to say, if you are in that place, just keep going, keep taking the photos and you will find that it will make a difference um, to your life. So yeah, thanks for watching if you've managed to get to the end and uh, yeah, I'll see you, see you soon. Cheers.